For more than 20 years, governments around the world have been needing to resolve climate crisis. Last year in Bonn, Germany, the Fijian government, being the president of the climate conference, introduced the Talanoa Dialogue. Well, the Talanoa Dialogue is a traditional method of solving differences in the Pacific, and year participants across the world have been asked to tell their stories in order to break the climate deadlock. Our correspondent, Ayola Kazim, now reports from the U.S. Climate Change Conference in Poland. Where are we now? How do we want to go? How do we get there? These are the three questions the Talanoa Dialogue seeks to answer. As ministers sit down to focus on the last question, scientists once again reiterate what is at stake. Every bit of warming matters. Every year matters. Every choice matters. The scientific community has delivered. Now it's up to governments to take the necessary action. In getting to 1.5 degrees centigrade world, there are many thorny issues the ministers must tackle. There are some concerns about access to international public finances, need a predictable and consistent flow of this. Direct access to funds under the conventions needs to be enhanced. Excellencies. The man who chaired the 2015 negotiation of the Paris Agreement asked ministers to do what is right for the people and planet. I beg you, in Katowice, to write a successful story and to be faithful to the letter and the spirit of Paris, that is to say to act better, faster and together. You have four days to finish a job. It is short, but it is vital. Civil society, on their part, wants countries to increase ambition and they also urge the current COP president to do more. No outcome here in Katowice will be acceptable without countries agreeing to review and strengthen their pledges. So if there is no decision, uh, a COP24 decision that invites countries to review and strengthen their NDCs, then that won't be acceptable, full stop. The science is clear and the danger of exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius is also quite clear. What is now expected is the political will to turn the dialogue into action. From the United Nations Climate Conference in Katowice, I'm Ayola Kasim, reporting for Channel's Television News. The UK Prime Minister Theresa May says there's a shared determination among EU leaders to solve the Irish border problem, preventing MPs from backing her deal. According to the Prime Minister, there can be no deal without a backstop plan for the Irish border, which is a necessary guarantee for the people of Northern Ireland. This comes after her meetings with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Dutch Prime Minister, and the European Union leadership in Brussels as she seeks support for her floundering Brexit deal. Irish Prime Minister is expected to welcome Mrs May to Dublin on Wednesday. And the main news again. There were mixed reactions today at the National Assembly over President Buhari's refusal to sign the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. Some lawmakers objected to being prevented from debating the matter. And the Nigerian Elections Debate Group and Broadcasting Organizations of Nigeria released the names of participating parties in the presidential debates. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahonyato. Do have a good night.